Welcome to Louisiana Gardening Family. Don't forget your baby, ma'am. No, I'm not. All right. So we're going to pick up, how many we got to get? Eight. So we're at Home Depot. You can see we're in the gardening center. We wanted to kind of show y'all exactly where to get these blocks at and how much they cost. And they're going to be right here, basically where all your other landscaping blocks are. They're gonna be 268 a piece. Yeah, so these are 268. Uh, as you can see, some of them are kind of cracked. You really don't have to get those, uh, but you can kind of get some of your uh, better ones. And you see the hole in the middle that I was telling you about where you can put your rebar through if you want a little bit more stability. So you can hold this while I get. And we're gonna get um, eight of these. But since we got the wood, these we're gonna are get the woods. Two by 12 by eight foot. We're gonna take y'all back to where these actually are. And Home Depot does cut the wood. So this is gonna be a no tools necessary raised bed. They're gonna cut the wood for us. So we got three of the eight foot boards. One of them we left with them. They're gonna cut that into four foot and four foot. So that's gonna give us that eight foot long bed and when we cut the other board in half it's going to be four foot wide uh, just to give us an idea come on use your muscles uh, of how the bed is going to look let's see Huh? Yep. These are nine dollars and fifty nine cent a board. These are two sixty eight. Be careful, Lee. So, well, actually, how easy it is to set this up. We can do it here without even going home. Zion, come back. Zion. <laughs> Honey. We need eight bricks. Eight bricks and three blocks. I mean. <laughs> so basically, this is how it goes. Once you get your other board. <laughs> and you'll get your last uh, board and then cut them into four feet. You slide one here, another one, the other one here, and that's it. that'll be it. Eight by four foot raised bed. We're gonna take you. We're gonna pause, and we're gonna take you actually to where you can actually find the wood. So we're gonna load this back up onto our little. Push it and push on to where the wood is. So we'll be right back. We're back over. Give them a little look of where we at. This is just like where your regular wood is. Right? So I want to bring them in to here. The raised bed that y'all saw yesterday, we actually used this uh, two by ten by eight, and we saw that at the top of the blocks, it still had a little space left. So we're going up another two inches. So this one is the two by 12 by eight, and it's 959 each board. Uh, the other one was 944. So we get three of those boards, which is from right here. Each Home Depot may be a little different, uh, but we got three boards. Uh, like I said, these two are gonna be for your long boards, for your eight foot long beds. And then Home Depot was so nice as to cut one of the boards in half already. So. That gives us our four foot wide. Uh, when we get home, we'll go ahead on and just put it on the ground and show you how it comes together. Uh, once again, no screws, no nails, 
know anything, just on the ground. And we'll come back. Matter of fact, we're gonna show y'all how much this stuff costs. We're gonna run up to the checkout counter. So we do have we have the eight. Can you see that good enough? Let me see. Alright, because it's a little we gotta turn this uh light off. Alright, so we got eight of the uh, planter wall blocks and we got three of the two by 12 by eight foot number two prime you can look at that code and number if you go to your local home depot that's 07329 and they'll be able to show you the exact uh, piece of wood to get and if you look the total price is fifty dollars and twenty one cents and that's it and then we'll be headed home to put it in the ground Oh. From the choices shown below. Sorry. Taxes. Debt and taxes. Just kidding. Taxes just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> this boy is not really that heavy. It got weight to it. Uh, but even if you have a minivan and don't have a pickup truck, you still can put this raised bed together. So I'll just show you. I haven't moved any of the seats or anything. It's going to be a perfect fit if you got your minivan. And I'm going to show you, this is just going to be uh, demonstrational because you're not actually going to install the raised bed. Uh, as far as putting the soil and everything in it because I don't think I have well I have enough but we're going to use that for something else but I just wanted to show y'all how it goes how it goes we actually got right. these from this is just regular landscape fabric uh, we got this from the dollar store about a year year and a half ago when yeah, it was like for a dollar a dollar once they go on sale like 90% they go on sale on fall if I was going to do this, I would actually, if I was you, you can actually just either cut your grass low or weed eat it out or scrape it out. But we've actually did it both ways with the grass in it like that and without. I don't know if it matters much, but I would prefer that if I was you, I would probably take the grass out first. We actually did that over here. And we'll just start setting in the blocks. And all we did here was the same way. Uh, it's just row three. I think we cut it like 10 feet, 10 feet pieces. We just laid them down uh, on top of the other, kind of like staggered, if they could see that. And we'll take our first four foot board, give us a little measurement. See how far we gotta back up this four feet. I actually can get one more. When you're first setting up your raised bed, it's better to just use just four blocks. That way you can always just add the last block when you finish. I don't want to deal with this right now. Ants. <laughs> right. So, we got too many ants, so I ain't gonna mess with it right now. <laughs> so. The next one, the other four foot board. Oh, 
uh, from yesterday, I did mention that we got this idea from Stu at Stu's Green Thumb. And I went on online and the other guy I saw was Mississippi Gulf Coast Gardener. Uh, that was the other guy that I saw doing it. I had to do it. But you can see how flush that is. These are the two by 12 by eight boards. So, and if I was gonna, I'm gonna probably move it over a little bit more or back a little bit more so I can have it even. Try to get a little bit more clean around here. Uh, now, uh, Mr. Richard, uh, Richard Johnson asked about today about how much soil does it take to fill up a bed like this. When we got our soil from Walmart, come on, Dad. So we had two of these filled with horse Onion. manure. So I threw that in first, and I always put the manures in first and at the bottom because they're all full of sometimes weed seeds. So I want them buried as far down as I can. So that's two. And it was, so of the potting mix, it was one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine. These are the small ones. Mm -hmm. So it would be nine big ones and three small yeah. ones. So nine of the two cubic feet and three of the, I might got one. Um, no, eight of the two cubic feet and four of the the one cubic feet ones. And that actually gave us this here. Now if you remember, this doesn't come all the way flush with this brick. Uh, and this is the two by eight by eight boards. Two by eight by 10? No, two by eight by eight. And these are the two by 10. No, these are the two by 10 by eights, right? And these are the two by 12 by eights. So you see, by getting the two by 12, you get the, the flush look like people may be going for and I would get this one because the price is like the same 10 thing. cent mm -hmm. higher to get this one and get the flush look you get the 12 inches actual 12 inches of planting depth that over here I'll probably have about six inches because I don't fill these things all the way up this one I will not fill all the way up that'll take too much soil uh, you get about eight inches, six to eight inches is plenty in any raised bed. Uh, so, I think that's everything we have to cover. I'm sweating, and it's not even the sun is out. That's how humid it is out here. If you're thinking of something that's easy, we didn't have to do anything. Home Depot cut the wood for us in the four foot uh, section. And, and this is what I like about this is if you wanted to get a wheelbarrow or a dolly, I'll do that right quick. Just say I want to come in from this way with some soil and some bags. I take this board off and I can actually have soil in a bag on a dolly. And actually you can roll your soil in to your raised bed and you can cut your bags and dump them right here and roll out without affecting the integrity of the bed and when you're done you take the four foot in the four foot piece and basically just slide it back in this is a little uneven are so perfect that it's tight. The truth is I don't want to get bit by those ants. <laughs>
but we can slide it over and make it fit. So thank y'all for watching Louisiana Gardening Family. Anything else, Bells? <laughs> we'll catch y'all on the next one. So in the meantime, get ready for fall and grow, grow, grow.